In order to unlock Nebula camo after you get Afterlife, you must get 10 elite kills on with all weapons in Black Ops 6 Zombies. And today I found a very brand new strat that no one is talking about in order to get all 10 kills very quickly and very easily. I know there are some people doing save and quit exploits. I know there's other different exploits to get a lot of bosses to spawn in. There's also an exploit with the Easter eggs to get a bunch of bosses to spawn in. If you want to do it a natural way without any sort of exploits and also the quicker way, this video is going to help you out. So right here, this guy, there's a skeleton right there. He tells you, look, there's a little spot on the map. That spot on the map is down here. So that's where we're going to go to get um, the watch. Pack a punch. We'll grab fire on our weapon because it's a mangler. So they uh, are weak to fire. We also need um, Mele Macchiato. So once you've got three Molotovs, and your weapon is like at least pack one. I'm gonna grab that shot just for the extra crit damage. That's up. And then now we need to go to the island that she, uh, that she, uh, that the skeleton showed us. So that island was this one. So we're gonna come back. Oh, nice. That's an island right here. We're gonna come back here to this island. There's three, uh, so far I've only seen, I've only seen three different islands. There's three different islands. You see that, uh, that dot right there in the ground, in the water? Jump down. Grab this watch, punch the wall. This is the guy, right, that they gave us the directions. Press square, it's not gonna give you a prompt, but press square or X or whatever your interact button is. And then you can stay here and like listen to him talk. It's really cool lore, you don't have to. After you finish talking, he's gonna give you three other locations. Those three locations are the same every game. So you don't have to like stay there and like wait to figure out which locations. They're the same every game. There's the three locations are um, Shipwreck, Exo Island, and then one other island as well. I don't know what the name of that island is. So once you get that prompt that he's done talking, you can come over to shipwreck first. It should be easy to just kind of go up and around. Come over to shipwreck first. This is where you need your Molotovs. There's a skeleton right there. You can not mark him because he's a part of East, a secret Easter egg. So you throw it at him, throw the Molotov at him. He's gonna give you some quotes. Don't kill your last zombie. Do not kill him because this dude is beefing. And this HBT here counts as an elite for your Nebula Chemo Grind. Now, the reason why I say be very, very careful is because once you pick up his challenge point, now this is if you decide to go for the double point Easter egg. If you go for the double point Easter egg, you're gonna pick up his uh, coin. That coin, you take to the, um, to the skeleton who gave you directions, perfect. And this coin right here, if you pick that up, you have, you have severely severely reduced health regen. So if you look, my health still has the regenerator from the zombie hitting me. So you cannot get hit or else you might just like die. Once you grab the first one, you can take the coin back to the guy if you don't want to risk any getting hit. Once you get over to, to Exco Island, the other skeletons right here, you'll know because you can't mark them. Again, if you're doing the double points Easter egg, you don't, you can grab the coin. If you're not doing the double points Easter egg, you're doing this just to get those, um elite kills for the nebula camo, then you don't have to grab the coin. All right, now the third island is continue going around the uh, center piece. Third island is a weirder island. The uh, little skeleton's a little bit harder to find because it's buried. But it's right here. These rocks, and you can see the zombie right there, or the skeleton right there. There we go. All right, that's three, two. So that's the three. Now, if you want to like leave the game, come back and do that again, you can. We're round eight, right? And our weapon is like already kind of okay. So we might as well um, continue on. If you decide to just continue on, there's only seven more at least you need in order to get Nebula for that weapon. There, there's gonna be a, 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 an elite a, a right about round 15, right again, right around level 20. Again, right around 25, that's three. You're gonna give those three coins to him. You only need to press it one time. So there's those three. Two at least are gonna start spawning around level tw round 28. By the way, he's going to give you a bunch of gold weapons. You see him throwing them out. Two of um, Malgoth are going to spawn around 28 and then again, probably around 32, I believe it is. So you can go ahead and leave after Route 32 and that's all 10. So you got three here, one to 15, one to 20, one to 25-ish, three at 28 and then another three at around 32. And you leave. 
and that takes you like maybe an hour not not even an hour really okay now if you're trying to continue this easter egg we finished this on round 28 i mean on round eight wait three rounds you're gonna go to the south island i'll show you guys that here shortly once we get there now that all that easter egg stuff is all done let's kill some fucking zombies bro let's kill some goddamn zombies so this is round 10 so this is the second round okay because we uh because we had him talk and give us the stuff on round eight round uh 11 is when we need to be at the island i'm gonna go over there now because it's round 10 so because i want you guys to see what it looks like when um when the when the chest spawns in for the again this is only for the double points now so you go to the south island if you want to continue doing that little site easter egg but to get the uh, permanent double points but when you come over here uh to get the uh thing there's gonna be a lot of lightning that's how you know you're on the right round you have to do it you have to do it three rounds after if you come over here too late or like on like four rounds after it's not gonna happen but you're gonna know you're on the right round because there's gonna be lightning around flip the round as quickly as possible so i would recommend if you are trying to do the double points easter egg part of this like actually continue on and get the double points uh to get that dark ops challenge too you'll know it's the right round because there'll be lightning and if you're already over and there's not lightning yet and you came early don't worry you're gonna be fine there we go lightning so you're gonna look for the chest that's gonna spawn be super careful because right here so this is the chest you open this up you get the cursed talisman this cursed talisman gives you that double points and again if you get twenty thousand points without getting hit one then you'll get the uh you get the double the dark ops challenge now i already have the dark ops challenge so i'm not going to get it here this goes for any round it does not have to be just be the round that you got the um that you got the talisman on if you do this and you get hit it will take a lot of points away from you a lot of points like 12 or 1300 points from you if you get a double points while you have this why you have this active it is quadruple point 